Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create a bolt and a nut component such as such as this one here. Uh, before we continue, let's take a look at some dimensions that we're going to need. Uh, so we are doing the M20 by 2.5 uh, bolt. And the first thing that we're creating is the bolt head. And the S dimension for that is 30 millimeters. There is also a minimum dimension here. We'll just, we'll just go with the maximum. And the thickness of the bolt head is K. And then we'll use the 12.85. So let's begin. So let's begin by creating a new part. And let's confirm the drafting standards are set to uh, our prefer and then uh, millimeters for the units. So for the ball head, we'll create a, um, a polygon on the front plane. So let's provide a dimension and this is 30 millimeters. So now let, let's extrude about mid plane and this dimension is 12.85. So now let's create a chamfer. Um, if you notice here, so these chamfers are shown on the top of the bolt head. Uh, typically you see it on both sides but we're just gonna um, do it on, on the top. So let's create that chamfer for that. Um, so let's select the, the back of the ball head and create a sketch, select a uh, circle and then hit okay. So now we're ready for create the cut. So extrude a cut. So we don't want the, um, so we don't want to create a hole. So we want to actually cut this section here. So you can actually click here, flip side to cut. So that means it'll select the other uh, face. And then uh, right here, typically um, that angle for the for the bolt head is uh, 30 degrees. Um, you can also make a 45, but we'll do 30 degrees for now. And that's how you create a, a chamfer for the bolt. So now let's create the length of the bolt. Let's make a circle. Uh, we're doing the M20 by 2.5. So that means the uh, this diameter is 20. And then hit OK. Uh, now we can extrude and the length of the bolt that depends on um, on your application and your requirement. But for now, we'll do let's do forty. Let's do fifty. So, and then hit OK. So that's our our bolt. So now let's add um, uh, the threading using the, the whole wizard and select thread. For the thread location, this is the beginning of the thread. So we'll select the edge, at the beginning of the bolt. And then this is the end condition up to selection. And then we'll select the, um, the end of the bolt. Uh, right here, so we're doing a a die metric die. Uh, met the tabs option is for the for the actual nut, but we're doing we're doing the the bolt. So we so we have to select die, and then for the bolt selection, we are doing M20 by 2.5. So select that uh, right hand thread and. We pretty much have everything and hit OK. So now we have our threading. The, um, the next thing that we're going to do is let's go back to the threading uh, section. So um, if you look at the um, 
at, a, at any regular bolt, there there is a um, the threading doesn't start right at the edge of the bolt head. So there is a um, a shank. That's how you call it, the shank section of the um, of the bolt. So let me see if I can find a picture. So this is what I'm referring to. So the so we need to specify the the grip length. Uh, for this bolt. So for that, we'll, we're going to do the following. So under thread location, hit on the offset, and here's where you you'll define the, the the grip length. So let's try with 10, and that means the threading will start at 10 millimeters from the edge of the bolt head. So now hit OK. So we have our first. Uh, component created. Uh, we can we can save this. We can save this, and we can just call it bolt. So now let's create a um, the nut. So for the nuts, we have another requirements here. So the nuts pretty much is going to be. Um, similar to the ball head so we'll use m20 the the s dimension is 27 so we'll use 27 and the thickness we'll use 16. so let's do a new part and let's confirm our drafting uh, standards and units this is millimeters so select the front plane and do a an sketch. Let's create a polygon. Now let's define. So for that table that we just looked, this is um, this is 27 millimeters, and the thickness will be 16. Let's select the mid plane. So now we have the the nut. So we'll add the the chamfer. Let's create a circle. So we're following the same steps as the ball head. So so now we're ready to make a cut, extrude a cut. So we want to um, through all, but we want to cut the these portions here, not not create a hole. So you just click on flip side up, side to cut, um, and then we can provide an angle. Uh, you can do 30, 30 degrees. And that's our not so now let's create the um, the inside diameter this is 20 so now we're ready to create a um, a cut so through all that's fine with me and hit okay so now we're ready to make the threading portion. So under hole wizard, click on the drop down and then click on threading, thread. So the initial location or the threading location for that is we're going to select this portion here and up to selection for the end condition. So we can select the this phase, so it can go all the way up to that phase. Uh, for the metric, for the specification, we're going to select metric tab because now we're doing the knot and 20 by 2.5. The other selections we keep it as they are right now. So if you notice, so let's hit OK. So if you notice, this section here is 
it's not covered with threading so we need to offset it so it can cover the whole inside diameter so let's go back to the threading option and hit a add edit feature and then here under the um, thread location this is the the beginning of the threading so we'll do an offset and we can specify probably two millimeters and just hit on, on, on this so you can reverse direction. So now the threading is going uh, above and beyond the, the inside diameter. So that's what we want. Hit OK. So now the whole section is threaded. Um, so now we have the nut created. Now let's, let's save it and we can name it this as nut. So we can um, create a new assembly so we can uh, assemble the bolt and the nut together. So let's hit new assembly. As always, we need to um, we need to specify we need to uh, confirm that the drafting standards are uh, set to your requirements. So millimeters in in our case. Um, so now let's bring the the bolt. So the bolt. So now we have the bolt. So let's bring now. You can drag the components that you created, or you can um, you can click on, on insert components and and browse and let's bring the nut so this is our nut that we created so let's add some mate so the first mate that we're going to add is uh, before we do that let me let me uh, turn on uh, temporary access so these are the temporary access that we can use for mating. So let's make the, the center of the nut with the with the bolt. So that's our first mate. So this is these two are concentric. The the other mate that we need to add is the following. So let's hit on mate and then under mechanical. Um, let's select screw and then right here uh, select distance revolution and this is pretty much the pitch and if you recall we're doing the m20 by 2.5 bolt 2.5 is the pitch dimension so this is what we're going to to select 2.5 so under selections we're going to select the the face of the threading along the center of the the axis of the nut um, and then you can go back here and change it to 2.5 for some reason um, you have to do it twice and then hit ok so that means that when you turn this it'll It'll take those uh, specifications um, for the M20 by the 2.5 pitch. So if you notice, if you keep tightening this uh, knot, it'll go all the way to the bolt head. Typically, that's not the case. So we need to specify some distance from the knot to the to the head. So we need to specify that distance so it doesn't go beyond that number. So let's add another mate. And then now we are going to click click on uh, advance. So let's select the faces. So we want this face and that face at a particular distance that we are going to specify here. So this is going to be a uh, the distance that we want. So if you recall, we created the dash shank at 10 millimeters so that's the number that we are going to put there for the minimum distance 
and for the maximum we're going to this is just going to be the um the ball length so this is uh, 40. so now let's uh test so you can hit okay so if you if you want to wrote so that's the limit so it doesn't it doesn't go beyond the 10 millimeters now let's try the other way so after 40 millimeters actually at 40 millimeters it stops so it doesn't go beyond so that's how you create a bolt and a nut assembly with different mate requirements thank you for watching